It was widely accepted that St. Yared was born on the 25th of April, 505, in the city of Aksum, Aksumite kingdom from his mother Talclia and his father Adam. When he reached six, his parent gave him tutelage of Yishak, who was a teacher of Aksum. Under his instruction, St. Yared completed alphabet and psalms. Yishak brought St. Yared back to his parent and his father died. Unable to raise him, his mother Taklia left him to his uncle Abba Gedeon, who was a parish priest. Gedeon was a teacher of Old and New Testament in St. Mary of Sion, and he began translating holy scriptures into Gaez from Hebrew and Greek. At that time, St. Yared was in poor education and unable to acquire knowledge, which led him severe punishments and mockery at school. Aware of his failure, St. Yared decided to go on to his uncle's birthplace, Medabai Willel. Due to heavy rain, St. Yared sheltered under a nearby tree in place of Marad Kal. Pondering his life, St. Yared rested and noticed a caterpillar climbing the tree to eat leaves. The caterpillar continued to fall down, but eventually it succeeded to reach its destination. St. Yared wept and returned to Gedeon and pledged him not to offend. Gedeon began teaching psalms. St. Yared subsequently moved to St. Mary of Sion for prayer. When St. Yared was 14, Gedeon died. St. Yared took his mastering position. He then returned to Aksum at the age of nine, becoming the chief priest in Holy Ark of Sion. Soon after, St. Yared composed Arium. While at Aksum, St. Yared created musical notations and alphabets as well as Maquamia. During the 14-year rule of King Gebra Meskel, the son of King Caleb, from 525 to 539, St. Yared became a dominant musical figure in Aksum. He proclaimed as the greatest poet, and the king favored him. Soon after, St. Yared composed Zima, resulting in his succession in church service. During this, St. Yared decided to live with ascetics and requested to the emperor, promise to grant me, allow me to retire from my work in the court and to live among the people so that I may devote the rest of my life teaching to meditation and to prayer. Here are some specific lessons we can learn from St. Yared's story. We can learn to use our talents and gifts to serve God and others. Yared was a gifted musician and composer, and he used his talents to glorify God and to bring joy to others. We can all use our talents and gifts to serve God and others, no matter what they may be. We can learn to live a life of faith, even in the face of persecution. Yared lived in a time when Christians were persecuted, but he never wavered in his faith. He continued to serve God and to share his faith with others, even when it was dangerous to do so. We can learn to we be can humble all learn from serve Yared's others. example of courage Yared and faith. was a humble man who was always willing to serve others. He never sought recognition or praise for his work, but he was always willing to put others before himself. We can all learn from Yared's example of humility and service. Saint Yared is a powerful example of how we can live a life of faith and service. We can all learn from his story and strive to live our lives in a way that honors God and brings joy to others.